And what is Habib doing? Wallahi, assume the best of your brother. Wallahi, isn't this a great lesson to assume the best in your brother? Habib focuses on grappling and wrestling with people, which is a sunnah, by the way, and he rarely strikes the face. Rarely does. Watch his, watch his highlights, right? Like if you need these things to validate who you are, then you're missing something on the inside. But what does Habib do, right? Always talking about Allah. Isn't that true? What do we know about the Messenger Sallallahu saying about a good friend? A good friend is someone who reminds you of Allah. True or false? Let me ask you a question. When you look at Habib, does he remind you of Allah? Think about it. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, and humbled that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. Should we be supporting Habib Nurmega Meadow? Nurmeda Mega. I, I practice this off the camera. Nurmeda Medov. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't roast me for that. I really, I try. Nurmeda Medov. Okay, I'm going to try it. It's fun to actually try to say his name, guys. Before we jump into this video, huge, sincerely, I wrote this post on my, my YouTube. Go check it out, honestly, in the, in the comments, uh, in the post for YouTube. It really, really, honest to God, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Um, I'm someone, of, I'm the type of person, guys, that I didn't have much growing up. And every single time I ever received anything... I always appreciated it a little bit more because I knew I never had it. And that's how I was raised to some degree as well. So every time you guys watch a video of mine and like it and drop a comment, honest to God, it really does mean a lot to me. And if you ever wonder, hey, SQ, like, how are you able to respond to everyone's comments and such? It's because it's an honor to respond to you guys. It's not because it's for the algorithm. It's, it's an honor. I get excited to read your comments and respond to you and have a conversation with you. So it's not a bot, it's me actually doing this, all right? And before we talk about should we be supporting uh, Habib Nurmeda Medoff, oh, okay. <clears throat> No matter, matter, matter. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm, inshallah, inshallah, it's gonna work. Okay, um, I want to talk to you about today's sponsor and the partner of today's video, which is My Tazkia, uh, which is a completely online program to help you quit pornography, sex, and masturbation addictions. All right, guys, if you're someone who's struggling with this, I sincerely recommend you check out their website, link in the description, and actually get the help that you need. Okay, there's no point of living with such a thing, and you know, you're actually supporting me, even if you don't need the help, go check out their website and see what they do if you know of a friend or a family member who needs help with such a uh with the thing to get rid of like this habit to get rid of help them out you know but just know that there's resource there you don't have to live with these dirty feelings forever you understand there's people out here muslims out here uh ready to help you out and they have a huge 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 success rate so go check them out plus when you ch uh, check out their websites even for sindeed for example right even if you don't buy anything but you check their website it shows that i'm sending them the traffic and that means that they want to partner with me for longer and that means that they're paying me so that I can do more of those um, social experiments and just to be clear because other youtubers are not clear with you I, I hope I, I mean like I, I think so right I haven't seen anyone do this at least um, I, I don't keep any of the money uh, from the sponsorships that I get okay everything gets reinvested into these videos so any money that Sandeed has paid me till this day I have not personally seen it it's personally come to me but I've done some type of social experiment gave it away and sometimes I'm even going over budget I don't know why I'm telling you all these things but I'm just being honest with you right sometimes I even go over budget like I went over $200 in the last budget for the iPad where did that come from, SQ? It came from my own pockets, right? From my own hard work that I'm doing and I'm doing it. So, you know, someone suggested I start a Patreon. Maybe. I don't know. I would love your support. It would be really nice. But Alhamdulillah, I'm okay without it for now as well too because Allah is supporting me. And Alhamdulillah, that's all. Should we support Habib though? Should we? Should we support him? Now, I'm going to tell you this straight away right now. I'm not someone who watches MMA. Right, the most wrestling I used to watch was when The Rock was doing that, and I love The Rock. You know, we have the same birthday too, Subhanallah. Uh, but I love The Rock. Um, and I used to watch a lot of wrestling, but for MMA, it's just like you know, punch in this and that. And I know Islamically, from my very limited knowledge, that punching in the face is impermissible. You're not supposed to punch in the face. You're not supposed to hit the face. This is the creation of Allah. You can't be damaging that sort of stuff, right? So a lot of people have stated that MMA is haram because of its violent activity. I read a comment, something stating about you know. Know, the sponsorships that you have and you're dealing with could be haram as well because you know the 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 the, the ring the octagon could be sponsored by like Modelo which is a, a, a alcohol brand or something you know so like there's there's factors to it okay uh, coming to my point 
I want to, I'd want to say this, and, and, and this goes to, for example, any sport, even Muhammad Ali. Even Muhammad Ali, we could talk about that in a second too. Um, I personally do not support that aspect of it because obviously within Islamic boundaries and parameters, it's wrong to strike someone in the face. But I want to point out something. That Habib, and people can say it's Habib. I'm pretty sure it's Habib. The K is silent, right? It's Russian. I don't know, right? Nermeda, 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 all. Okay, leave that, right? Um, Habib does something that's really interesting that's different from the other mixed martial artists, right? He is a professional and an expert in grappling, wrestling. That's his number, takedowns. That's what he's known for. That's what he's famous for, submissions. Not knocking out people, right? Because to knock out people, where do you got to hit them? And what is Habib doing? Well, Lahi, assume the best of your brother. Well, Lahi, isn't this a great lesson to assume the best of your brother? Habib focuses on grappling and wrestling with people, which is a sunnah, by the way, and he rarely strikes the face. Rarely does. Watch his, watch his highlights, right? He rarely strikes the face. He focuses on grappling and wrestling, which is the sunnah. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that incredible? Isn't it incredible how Allah knows his intention? But you and I could be over here and be like, that's haram. How could you support Habib and all that sort of stuff? But Allah knows his intention that look, he, he's, he's been blessed with a gift. He's been blessed with a gift. Let's just be serious over here, right? He's been blessed with the gift. And he's using that gift to earn a living for himself and his family and support people. And the things that he's doing with his, his fame, his clout, his resource, his celebrity is incredible. The money that he raises for charity, incredible what he does, you know? So should we be supporting Habib? I'll let you decide that. But I'm just stating my case, you know? I understand he's in an industry that's not permissible because of what they do and what they stand for at times, right? Uh, but I'm not, I'm not a mufti. I'm sure there's a lot of mufti scholars that's going to be in the comment section, though. But your boy SQ is not. I'm just a regular dude, right? I'm just sh telling you to assume the best in a person. Imagine Allah knows him. But I know he was trying to strike Conor McGregor's face, bro. That boy was trying to destroy Conor McGregor. But everyone else, he's grappling. He's wrestling them. Okay. Now. He might have to strike the face every now and then. But what does Habib do, right? Always talking about Allah. Isn't that true? What do we know about the Messenger Sallallahu saying about a good friend? A good friend is someone who reminds you of Allah. True or false? Let me ask you a question. When you look at Habib, does he remind you of Allah? Think about it. Think about this. Yeah, he might look like an MMA fighter on the outside. But every time you say Habib, you're thinking, wow, mashallah. Aren't you? I, hope, I, I am. Maybe you're not. I am. He reminds me of Allah. He does. He reminds me of that, wow, you can be in the industry and still stay true to your Islamic values and beliefs and not sell out. Habib, man, he's a legend. He's a legend. That's why I wear this. I love wearing this champion hat, right? Because I, I love champions. I lo I'm a champion. You're a champion too. What do you think it takes to be a champion? To win a ring? To win a trophy? You think that, that's what a champion is? A champion's in here. Being a champion starts here. Being a champion starts in here. You got to be a winner up here first. You're already a champion. No one has to tell you anything. People are excited for me. SQ, 100K coming soon. 100K is just a number. I could be at 100K right now. What does it matter? I'll still, I'll never forget this. I'll never forget this. My, my little nephew almost, Musa Adnan. Uh, my little bro. MashaAllah, may Allah bless him and, and the journey that he's on. I mean... I remember two years ago, I was in the UK and uh, I was trying to like figure out the YouTube thing, right? I had like maybe 4,000 subscribers just like two years ago, uh, which, which is subhanAllah, wow. Now that I said it out loud, what a, whoa, subhanAllah, wow, right? That's amazing. How, tell me someone in the comment section, below, how many times more followers do I have now? Subscribers do I have now, right? It's a math question, mashallah. Um, I, you know, he was just, I was just saying, you know, I was shying away from YouTube because I felt embarrassed of it because I had all this success on Instagram, but nothing on YouTube. I didn't feel well-rounded enough. So I was telling him and he, and he was just like, you know, like, bro, you need to post more of this. I'm like, really? I said, but you know, like, uh, you know, I'm not a YouTube. He said, hang on. I said, what do you mean? I said, I'm not a YouTuber. He's like, what, what does it mean to be a YouTuber? I said, I don't know. Like, I don't know. A person's a YouTuber. He's like, what does it take to be a YouTuber? I, I, I honestly, he kept on pushing me. I was like, I don't know. He's like, you think that you're going to be a YouTuber when you get 10K uh, subscribers? He said, you're already a YouTuber. And that mindset shift blew me away. Because I'm like, yo, you're right. I am already one, right? 
100, having 100K or having a verification tick on my Instagram or something like that doesn't make me special. It doesn't make me complete. It doesn't make me feel superior or good. If that's what you need to feel good about yourself, then you're missing something on the inside. You understand? Like if you need these things to validate who you are, then you're missing something on the inside. And I ask Allah Azza, uh, Azza wa Jal to help us all and complete us all so that we don't need numbers, likes, posts, views, and blah, blah, blah to feel good about ourselves. You know what I mean? Like 100K is just one more person. But what 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 is what is what is a hundred k? What's so special about that number? That's not special about this number. Am I trying to obtain a feeling? Well, I can have that feeling right now. Congratulate me! I hit a hundred k. So what? Like, what good have I done with it? Isn't that the real question? Isn't Allah gonna ask me what did I do with that amana that He's given me? May Allah protect us. Is 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 it right to support Habib? You tell me. Is it right to support me? You tell me. Should we not be supporting Muslims? Should we not? I don't. You tell me. I'm not going to make those decisions for you. You tell me. Shouldn't we be supporting Muslims? Especially Muslims like Habib who are saying Alhamdulillah. They bow in prostration. They're showing the whole world. They're saying Alhamdulillah. They're reminding the world of Allah. They're saying that. You see the video over here with Ronaldo where he's taught him inshallah. Come on. That's dope. People say that, oh, but what about people like Muhammad Ali? They're making a profession, they're jabbing people in the face and all that sort of stuff. I agree, right? That was obviously not the best profession or something like that. But look what he's done with that platform. He used that as a platform and Allah elevated him. When you think of Muhammad Ali today, may Allah have mercy on him, you know, like we think of him not just a boxer, but as the social activist. He's more than just a boxer, okay? So check this out right now, okay? Okay, but then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests him post-career with one of the craziest diseases ever, which is Parkinson's disease. The Messenger saw some taught us that the son of Adam, or you know, the human being, the believer, does not feel the, the, the prick of a thorn, but Allah doesn't use that. Allah uses that as an opportunity to forgive. Hi, beautiful. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses that as an opportunity to forgive the person of their sins. So what if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala challenged Muhammad Ali with Parkinson's, tested him with Parkinson's just so he could forgive him for all the things that he's done in the dunya? Who knows, right? Isn't it a good idea to make a more positive meaning of things than a negative meaning of things? Because that's in your, your control. But you know, the media was going to pump out these athletes. You, okay, so you think, so you and I think that, oh, Habib is wrong because he's in a very dangerous sport. Uh, Muhammad Ali is wrong because he was in a very dangerous sport, a haram sport. What's halal about basketball? What's halal about football? What's halal about it? Do you know how much gambling takes place on these things? Do you know how much toll they're taking on their human bodies? Do you know the ACL tears that people have? People are ruining their bodies. By the age of 35, they can't even move. They're stiff. You ever seen the inside the NBA, Charles Chuck, uh, you know, uh, Chuck, uh, Kenny, uh, Shaq, er, uh, Ernie Johnson? What are they doing? They're always joking that, you know, Kenny can't run. He, you know, it's... Why? Because when you retire from these sports, your body in a jawab day, you know what I mean? Your body stops moving. Your knees hurt. They're 40 years old and their knees are hurting. They have to take pills and medication. So are we saying all these things are halal because they're not punching in the face? But aren't you ruining your body? It's perspective. It's perspective to think about. You know what I mean? So I'm not here to tell you what's halal or haram or should we support Habib or not? You decide that. Should you support people like myself? You decide that, right? But that's on you guys. You guys have to make that informed decision all on your own. SQ can't tell you what to do. And people in the comment section can't tell you what to do. What irks me the most is when in the comment section someone says something, right? Someone says like, like, like a question in there. Is something halal or haram? They'll ask a question. And someone in the comments just answers that. Someone, show me a time where the messenger saw, saw some did that. Show me a time when a companion asked basic halal or haram questions. They did every now and then, but it wasn't that mostly. Mostly it was more deeper, richer questions. And the messenger saw some responses were always deeper and richer too. So stop answering these yes or no questions. Yes, it's important to have halal and haram questions, thick related questions answered, definitely. But let's be serious over here. You and I know that we are not the most qualified people. So direct people, give them a resource, but stop trying to answer people's questions because you haven't really educated educated them or guided them. You just told them yes or no. It's haram? Okay. It's halal? Okay. What have they learned? Nothing. And there's no real experience where they're deep diving into the content. Guys, I digress. I could talk about this stuff all day long, but should we support Habib? Uh, you decide that. Nermeda met off. I'm getting closer. <laughs> Mashallah. Love you all for the sake of a lie. I know this was a little bit of a longer video, but I had fun making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. Check out some of my other videos as well. And um, am I going to watch the Habib fight? 
I don't know yet. Maybe, probably, because I want to see Habib say Alhamdulillah and do all that sort of stuff. I want to see it. You know, I do want to see that sort of stuff. But you know, then we're, we're paying and supporting it. Maybe they'd stop punching each other's faces if we stopped buying it, huh? So it's a perspective. But love you all for the sake of Allah. Like I said, check out some of these other videos. But uh, until next time, inshallah, I'm out.